look, when I was a kid growing up listening to all these punk bands and stuff, I was a super hardcore atheist that, you know, looked down on any religious person and blah, 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 all that typical kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, I, I don't really know why, I guess, because maybe I heard some like Christian hardcore bands or something like that. I was like, well, I'm not going to just be this dogmatic guy that won't even give it a chance. So I made friends with some of those people and I went to church with them and I went to Bible study with them. I went to some Krishna temples. I've been to, you know, Catholic, you know, um, uh, Catholic <laughs> mass with my mother-in-law a million times and stuff. And I don't yeah. necessarily, it's not like I became Christian or Krishna or Catholic or whatever, but I'm really glad that I did that because I learned and grew so much from it. And I took so many really, really important like transformational ideas from that that helped me a lot. And maybe even more importantly, I used to, when I was a kid, I was honestly ignorant and judgmental and looked down on Christians and thought they were stupid. And, and from getting to know them, I, I realized that, you know, I was just being a judgmental asshole. And I, I'm not saying that I have it all figured out or anything like that by any means, because I'm sure I'm still a judgmental asshole many times, but, uh, I just would hope that anybody like, why would you want to go through life having any kind of like ignorant judgmental ideas that are based on just a fundamental misunderstanding of reality, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. I, I just feel like, um, I feel the same way you do, uh, where I was judging the church and I, you know, I was in just like, I was so judgmental towards the church and I've been that way my whole life. Um, and a lot of I Christians started, are, by the way, people may not know that, but there's a lot of Christians who don't like the church. That's a super common thing. Yeah. The, the, um, in my opinion, I have traveled the world and I would go to churches everywhere and they were all doing it the same way. And I thought to myself, well, that's weird. Like we're supposed to be um, connecting with the Holy spirit and unique in you know, and they're all serving the same community or demographic. They're all structured the exact same way. And that just feels very organized, uh, business oriented versus yeah. like, Hey, this is how our church is because you know, this now I can go back and forth and I've, I'm not bashing churches because I have plenty of leaders in churches that I highly respect and, um, and love. But I'm just giving my personal experience through my life, and that's what I can. That's the only thing I can give. But I realized that I was going through church, and I'd be like, "Oh my gosh, this is tacky. This is stupid." Blah blah. blah. Yeah. And God was like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And who are you to judge? You know? Right. Like you're just a guy. They're just yeah. They're broken people, just like you, bro. Like yeah. Shut shut. And and they're here worshiping me. So what what are, what are you doing right now? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe they look a little goofy or maybe that person, you don't understand them because that's uncomfortable for you. Right. But that's where they find peace and joy and love and, and me. So exactly. who are you? Who the fuck are you? And I was like, you're right. You know? And um, I remember I was thinking about this in my house. I was running around crazy by myself. And I was like, God, I need to, I need to apologize. I need to make amends to the church. How do I do that? I shit you not, dude. My friend Ben Sledge calls me. He's a pastor at a church. He calls me within seconds of me saying this. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, so I just pick up the phone. I'm like, hey, dude, I don't know why you're calling me, but I need to apologize for the way that I and and he know he knew where I was coming from and my backstory. And you know, I got to apologize to him at least. Um, for the the way that I had perceived the church and judged them and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just very interesting, but, but yeah, I feel like a good start for us who want to pursue faith or don't is really taking time to understand us, who we are. Um, what, what do we believe is the point or purpose or life what are we lacking and where do we honestly believe we can find that and maybe start there and go on this journey or if people want to encounter a relationship with god 
you know, one of the things that I really like to do is uh, journal and I like to journal my thoughts and how I feel. And then I like to ask myself questions from those things. And I pray in the sense of I'm going to, I'm going to just invite God into this, into my, my, my thoughts, my body, my spirit and my words and, and just see what happens and what comes of that. And just try different things you know, um, but at the end of what I've seen thus far for myself is I see that we have a hurting world full of people that want to be loved and we are messy and broken, goofy, silly, and quite many 